How much are you relishing this first derby for the last, well, last 20 months basically? How much is it are you relishing this? Even more so, that it looks like it's going to be a full house. Can't wait. Like, I love the walk down. I love playing in them. I love managing them. Um, even though no a great record in managing them. Um, but as I say, that's there to be changed. And that's, that's our aim as a football club is, is to go down there and come back with a positive result. And, and that's... That's what we've worked towards all week, that's what we're trying to do, and that's what we believe. We'll, we believe if we go down there with the performances that we showed in the games previous, take out Celtic, because Celtic could do that at the end of it, but in the games that that we've played and we've competed in this season, then if we believe if we go down there with that level of performance, we come up with a positive result. You mentioned there about the, the walk down the road. Really unusual, obviously, to walk to an opponent's stadium. What, what is it like for you as a manager and the, and the team to be walking down that street just before the game to, to check into an opponent's game? It's great and it's, kind of, it's, it's, it's something that's unique. Um, I don't know if any other team in world football does it, but there will be somewhere, I'm sure. Um, but they changed it a couple of years ago and came on a bus, which we get the option to go on a bus from the police this year. You know why? It's, it's a great, it's, it's the best walking football for me, you're walking down, you're, you're walking down there to, to play your biggest rivals and you know the place is packed, you're walking down, it's, it's not so much you're walking down for a battle, but you're walking down there to, into their kind of territory, you're going down to say, right, let's get a, a positive result and, and walk back up the road, now that's, why would we take that away, that's, since I came to the club I, I was surprised when I heard about it, because I was used to getting police escorts into Tynecastle when I was at Hibs, but the walk down's fantastic and it, I think what it does show is the spirit in this city, the football spirit and how golf clubs, yeah, you can do that. And it, it's fierce, the derbies are fierce and they hate each other for, for 94, 95, however long the game goes on for, 94 and one of them, and a certain one I remember anyway, and for 94 minutes that they, they hate each other and then the fans can go and have a beer together after the game, I think that's fantastic as a city and that's why it's so great we've got the, the Derby back, it's live on TV, it's a Premiership and it's it's a full house and the walk's special. It's one day in the Premier League, it's three points up for grabs but really it's not just a, another game, it's a special game. It is a special game but you've just rhymed off what it is, it's one, it's one day in the Premier League, it's three points up for grabs, that's, that's, what, that's what we want, we want three points and yeah we want to break that record but for that thing that's hanging over our head we do want to break that I'm not going to stand here and lie now will it happen we'll see on Sunday but we want to be the Dundee team that breaks that but no it is it's not a game that's going to like the Kilmarnock game it's not going to be not so much life changing but it's not going to change a, a full season but for our fans for our players, it means the world to them to go down there and get a win, yeah, so it, it is, but we've also got a cup quarter final on the Wednesday night that's massive to this football club, so we've not been in the semi-final for, for 15 years, but even that's put to the side, and people come out and say he's not been thinking about the derby when, before the Livingston game, I genuinely wasn't, I wanted to beat Livingston and from, from Saturday night, Sunday, and then we think of the derby, we'll get to whatever time the game finishes on, on Sunday, quarter to two, quarter to, yeah, quarter to two, to a clock, we'll start concentrating on St Johnston, but it's a derby first and it's, it's that walk, it's that atmosphere, it's that big game, it's, it's all the hard work that went into to getting up and it's, it's what the players are really looking forward to and look if it, if it comes to it and we need to roll the sleeves up and turn it into a fight then we're happy to do it, but I think this will be one where you see a bit of football getting played because both teams are trying to do that and, and we're really looking forward to that. Do you see this being a, a frantic game? Obviously Dundee have been uh, fairly good at coming out of the traps early um, in, in most of the games. Do you see it's been a frantic game on, on, on Sunday? They're always frantic, Derby. So they are always frantic and then they do settle down. And it's probably then it's a team that can, can settle down quicker, can handle the occasion. And that's what it is, it's an occasion. We're going down there to, yeah, you, you want your players fired up and they'll be fired up, of course. They're, all, they're fired up for every game. There's a bit extra here. But you need to manage the occasion, just make sure you're, you're sticking to what you've worked on all week. We believe what we're working on all week can, can hurt Dundee United and, and that's what we're, 
we're looking to do. So, yeah, it's, it will be frantic. There's no doubt about that. Everyone I played in and I managed in is frantic. The atmosphere helps that. So, no, I can't, I can't wait for it. You haven't, unfortunately, had a, a victory so far this season. How much would it mean to get one on Sunday? Great. It'll be our first one. First one in 17 years down there, so that would be a bit more special, yeah. But we do need victories, we know that. But performances have been good. Performances won't keep us in the league. But I'd be a lot more worried if the performances were poor and we weren't creating the chances. The big thing is, we're creating chances. We're just not clinical enough in the final third as of yet. But bringing players like Lee Griffiths in, getting Alex Jakubiak fit, Paul McMullen coming back, player Charlie coming back, players like that, that'll be, you'll start seeing goals going in. Nobody can doubt the passion and, and the love you have of this club and what that badge on your chest means. You were seen obviously in the crowd after scoring that goal um, the other week there. But what is it like now that you've got other people on the park, lots of other people on the park with the same passion and thought about this club as yourself? Yeah, listen, I think everybody, you know, wants to win. I'm glad that, you know, they're all winners. What it win, you know, when I come on and scored, I probably took it a bit too far with the COVID rules and that, but it was just one of the moments. It's been a long 18 months to have the fans back and to have them over there. It was just great, you know, and you go and celebrate with them. And it's been a long time coming. You know, it was, it's, we've missed them. It's been difficult, you know, it's been difficult for, for the fans as well not being here. So we're just glad to have them back. And you can see the passion the, the boys are bringing. You can see they're right behind the team. For the first time we've been here, you can see, even we're not winning the games, we're drawing, they're still right behind us. And that's not been the case here for a long time here. And we're coming off the pitch, you know, and rightly so, we've been, had the fans having a go at us. But you can see that we've been dominating the games. We're just missing that final final bit to, you know, to get over the line and get that win. But it's, it's only around the corner. If MDs came and seen us watch this, they'll know how good we've been playing. And... It's just about getting that first victory and once we get that then I'm sure we'll push on up the league. Sunday morning you're going to take that very unusual walk from here down the couple of hundred yards to, to Tannadice at the other end of the road. What's it like for a player to take part in that? It's strange to be honest. It's not nice when you're having to walk back up after a bad defeat down there which I felt was quite weird but it's, it's strange you know I don't think you'll get that anywhere you know in football in world football apart from here, you know, a stone throw away, so you're walking down by their fans and, you know, you get the odd abuse, abuse thrown at you, so it's strange, but, you know, we wouldn't want it any other way, and listen, I'm looking forward to it, there's a buzz about the place, and these are, these are the games that, you know, we wanted, when we won promotion, this was the games we were looking forward to, you know, no disrespect to the championship, but, you know, away down to your Air United, and, you know, away to Arlowas, and, you know, it's, it's no nice, you know, it's, it's no enjoyable. These are the games you want to play in, the, the Hibs here, you know, and then you've got Rangers coming. So, this is where we wanted to be, this is where we deserve to be after the season we had last season. So, the boys deserve every bit of it and they just need to go and enjoy it. But, they know, you know, if they don't go and play the way we've been playing then, it'll, just, it'll pass them by. That's it. So quickly the game passes you by. I've played in a few now. I've played in some that just pass you by, that you're just not involved in the game, just over like that. So go and enjoy it. Go and try things. Go and take the ball and you know try and make things, make a name for yourself. It's a game to do it. You know it's live on Sky, so big game ahead for us, and we're all looking forward to it. <clears throat> People out with Dundee and out with the football clubs might just look at it as another Premier League game with three points, but it's much more than that. It's a derby. It's a full house. It's bragging nights for the next three months, isn't it? Of course it is. Well, I'm going to hear different opinions of teams of support. For this city, it's massive. You know, I'm here, it's going to be a full house. And you know, it's been a long time coming. Like, as I say, it's been a hard 18 months for everybody. Not just the people who associate with football, but just everybody in life. So it just gives them something to you know, look forward to. You know, it's a, a great game to play in. You know, I'm sure they'll all be out early, ready, away, getting their pints in at the pub. So we just want to do our fans justice, do ourselves justice, go down there and play the way we've been playing and you know, it'll be an hopefully it'll be an exciting game and the game that we come out and talk.